Alístense. Get ready. Yo soy el viento. I am the wind. Yo soy la lluvia. I am the rain. Yo soy el relámpago. I am the lightning. Yo soy el trueno. I am the thunder. Yo soy la misma tormenta. I am the storm itself. Yo soy el humo y el fuego del volcán. I am the volcano of smoke and fire. Yo soy el corazón de la tierra que late. I am the earth beating heart. Yo soy la marea del mar. I am the ocean tide. Yo soy billones de gente empujando todo en una dirección. I am billions of people pushing together in one direction. Yo soy el cambio que viene. I am the change that's coming. Yo soy un nuevo día. I am a new day. Yo soy las flores que florecen. I am the unfolding flower. Nadie me puede parar. No one can stop me. Listos o no. Ready or not. Aquí les vengo. Here I come. Rebecca Buckley, nine years old when she wrote that. <laughs> Buenas tardes, familia. Qué lindo, qué alegría, qué honor. You honor us. It's homecoming. I can't believe that many people que no he visto por tanto tiempo and the circle continues. I just got greeted by... Well, let me start by... Estela Ortega had to leave for an emergency meeting in Portland, Oregon. For the car, for the car, of course, find out the case there. Who else would go to Portland if it weren't for the cause of justice? But anyway, um, uh, no Portland night here, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, she asked me to, darle la bienvenida, the welcome, to tell uh, our special guests and all our uh, longtime friends, gracias por venir. I was telling uh, beautiful Debbie Roth a little bit ago, I hadn't seen her for a while, that um, he was introducing me to some people, and, and uh, he said, Roberto was, and I said, I used to be the next director, there was a bloodless coup, not even a scratch. <laughs> I woke up one day, I didn't have a job, but you know what, uh, that's okay with me. Uh, it's not an easy job, but no, I am, uh, I've been asked to write the history of the center, and I tell you the truth, I thought being executive director of the Central La Raza was a tough job. Trying to write a remarkable history that I hadn't thought about for 40 years, well, 37, 38, is a little bit more formidable than being executive director. So, <laughs> I thought I was going to fade into the sunset. Ni modo. Ya me lleva, ya me lleva el tren. Me lleva la corriente. You, you are Chicano, the Americano, no what else me lleva. You know, me lleva la. Okay. Um, this brother told me ahorita, Enrique Aguilar. Me dice, did you get the book I left you uh, 10, 15 years ago? I came to the centro. You helped me get a job, Mexican. I had nowhere to go, nothing, you know, you know what my next step is. Uh, you help me out, gracias. I wrote a book. It's called Letras de un Jardinero. Um, notes from a Gardener. Enrique, un aplauso. He wrote a book. Somehow he got word that we had a special guest from... Um, la Big Apple. Um, ¿Sabes qué, Felicia González? Trabajaste con nosotros. You were here. We miss you. We love you. We see each other. Gracias por estar aquí. Antonio Gais, uh, the head of the uh, history department de la universidad. Hope you got my email. I'm begging for an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Me llevan tren, jefe. Ayúdame. Chihuahua, I know you were in Spain. And, you know, with all the beautiful... Uh, 
flamenco dancers and who knows what else. So now that you're back, vamos a hablar de tu ayuda. Steve Frederick says, where in the heck are you? I, can't, I couldn't believe. I walked in the place and there's Steve Frederick. Said, my God, Bobby, how did this happen? Steve Frederick said, and another lawyer, another gringo lawyer, uh, when uh, we didn't know what we were doing, what we could do legally, couldn't, didn't care what we did legally. And they kept telling us, you know, you can't do this, if you're going to do this, at least do this before you do that, da, 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 da. And he and Sean Black became the two best lawyers in the very complicated body of law called 501c3 private nonprofit charitable organization. They probably kept me uh, from, from doing, I don't know, 20, 30 years in jail. <laughs> so, Steve, gracias for being here tonight. It's been a 10 years or so. No, we, we saw each other at another major event. Uh, the Barkley family, well, I'm going to say that for last. Uh, Kim Moss, um, Steve Erickson, you know, he, he abandoned us about 10, 12 years ago. Se fue para el monte, he went and became a hermit up in the woods. Uh, he still keeps coming back. Uh, met some brand new people, a poet from Los Angeles, who has a beautiful uh, Palestinian group. Where's the Palestinian sister? Amidita. Stand up. Stand up and look at the crowd, por favor. <laughs> She's hanging out with this uh, Chicano from Los Angeles. What's that? <laughs> what the fuck? What do you say today? What's up with that? Uh, <laughs> but she's Palestinian. She's Palestinian. And I thought, you know what? Palestine has lived in our hearts from the minute we walked. This is Palestinian land. You know what? Bring all the refugees that have been kept out of their homeland, you know, across, spread across the Middle East and elsewhere. This is their home. Bring them out of here. This is their home. Gracias. Uh, let's have a let's have a clap of thanks. I can't. Uh, I, I wish I, you know you you're waiting for the big the big uh, the big bang um, and and the big bang is standing right in front of me. Um, but I must say uh, the, the people who prepare the food. Uh, who, who are the uh, Trevetti? Now, uh, let's see. Marit and uh, her ugly boyfriend, uh, husband, and, uh, and who else? Uh, uh, whoever prepared the food, uh, the Lucy, Gracia, the people in the kitchen. We got a All right. Now I'm going to call up. Uh, uh, a very, very special person to introduce our very, very, very special person, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, New York, world citizen. Uh, but before I do that, uh, uh, Mr. Buckley and Mrs. Buckley, the Buckley family, have been a picture in the Central's history forever. Beautiful. Uh, maybe right now I already mentioned you saw, you know, don't, don't. Uh, anyway, the Buckley family, starting with a poem that you heard, the, the granddaughter. Um, gracias for, for coming. I know come all the way across the, the bay, um, and it's it been so long since I said, this is homecoming for me, uh, and I, I, am, I am overwhelmed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, the Pelotero was called out of town because I'd probably be... <laughs> Uh, you know, doing uh, something and a lonely job of, of trying to write. Uh, anyway, um, about three years ago, my two uh, daughters, uh, whether I wanted to go or not, uh, flew me to um, to um, Guerrero. And maybe ten minutes before I boarded the plane, I had Buckley. Uh, gave me a book called La República de Poesía. Martínez Para. Yo había oído el nombre. I had heard that name, Martínez Para. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I had not had the time, taken the time. So I knew very little about Martínez Para. Uh, the, I, 
told him last night privately at a dinner that um, the book hit me between the eyes uh, and I even said I, I had an epiphany in the hills of Guerrero because once I picked it up I must have read it four or five times to make sure that I understood what my brother was talking about. And he happened to be talking about almost everything that the Centro has been about. People talk about 9-11, well Martin makes it clear that there's more than one 9-11. There's a 9-11 in 1973 that ruined an entire generation of our beautiful Chilean sisters and brothers, many of them who landed right here, and eventually across the, beyond that wall, there's a beautiful room named in honor of Salvador Allende and everybody that uh, suffered as a result of the CIA, um, Richard Nixon, Harold Janine, Abaiti, and the thousands that were assassinated, brutalized, raped, tortured, murdered, including the beautiful pony road of Victor, Jara, and Joe. Um, and then there was one poem. I, um, many of you know that Nicaragua and I go back all the way to 72. Uh, during the occupation when the earthquake leveled Managua, we had a party for uh, the Nicaraguan people. Uh, during the occupation, uh, hundreds of people came, we raised the money, we sent it to Nicaragua, and before we know it, we found that, uh, we learned that, that, that the uh, fascist Somosistas had uh, stolen all the money, not only the one we sent, the, the several thousand dollars, but every bit of help from across the world. Um, we became family with the whole country of uh, Sandinismo, of the Sandinistas, and a young man by the name of Cam Camilo, um, his daddy is um, Carlos Miguel Godoy, uh, was a little boy when we met Carlos, the great uh, liberation singer, um, one of Central America's most famous. Anyway, he wrote a poem about Camilo who refused to go to the war in Iran. Viva uh, Sandino, of course. So, uh, Martin, uh, have Buckley introduced me to you. Pat, I want to thank you for this beautiful setting that you put, the food that you put together, the work that you did to get the money, all the details, the battle that you had to get all the information from the Makoshut, because Martin went to Makoshut country today. It was the University of Washington last night with Antonio Geis of the, of the uh, History Department. So, you have the honor of uh, introducing Martinez Pala. Viva Puerto Rico Libre! Viva! Viva Puerto Rico Libre!